Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we have the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and this just launched, so the 24th of August. And we're going to go ahead and unbox it. This is the Midnight Blue, so you can see we have the gold S Pen or sort of yellow when you take it out of the actual note. So you can see we get a sleeve, then just the Samsung branding on the front, nothing else there. So we'll go ahead and take this off, unwrap it. Then we have Galaxy Note 9. Sorry about the light, kind of difficult to see there. So we have some paperwork here, uh, the SIM removal tool on the back. But we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. And there we go, there's the Note 9. So we'll go ahead and lift that out. Just put it off to the side for now. Take a look at what else we get in the box. So we have here the fast charger. So I'll be sure to do some fast charging videos, time to charge videos with the Note 9, both of this and wireless charging. We then have a Type-C to USB connector there, so you can transfer data from an iPhone, an Android phone, uh, across easily. Then we have a micro USB to USB Type-C adapter, so useful if you've got something in your car or some old chargers that you want to use. And then down here we have the headphones, so AKG tuned headphones. We also have the S Pen tips and the pin, uh, the uh, removal tool, sorry. So you can go ahead and remove them and replace them once they get worn down. And then you can see the in ear headphones um, along with ear tips and then the Type C to Type A uh, USB adapter used for charging, obviously. So we'll go ahead and put that all off to the side. And then we'll bring back the Note 9. So you can see there, black front, we flip it over and we get that nice blue colour with the new dual cameras along with the LED flash, the fingerprint scanner and the heart rate sensor. Some details here, uh, Samsung branding uh, with also some branding down here for um, regulation obviously. Slightly less obvious than on the black I'd say. Then flip it over. We have the speaker, the camera, the iris scanners, um, ambient light sensor. Down here we have the uh, pressure sensitive home button. So obviously you can't see it, but it is pressure sensitive. On the side we have the volume rocker, the Bixby button, which apparently can't be disabled at the moment on the Note 9 unless you get a third party app. The power sleep weight button there. On the bottom we have the headphone jack the microphone there, the Type-C connector along with the speaker and the S Pen of course itself and then along the top we have the micro uh, SIM tray along with the SIM port this also, also supports uh, dual SIM sorry so you can go ahead and drop in a second SIM there and then we have another microphone port there so go ahead and peel this plastic off And we'll go ahead and power it up. And there you go, Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So we'll go ahead and boot it up. Okay, so I just finished setting up the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Very quick and easy to do, less than five minutes. I'll leave a link in the top right if you want to watch that video. But you can see we can go ahead and sign in. So using the new fingerprint scanner, which is now below the dual camera module, as opposed to next to it, that easy to sign in. Obviously you have the iris scanner up here uh, which you can use in combination with the face scanner for intelligent scan. So it's only the iris scanner, fingerprint scanner that can do things like secure payments. Just facial recognition won't do um, payments. You can see down here Samsung Pay. So just the size comparison between the Note 9 and the iPhone 10. You can see that is quite a lot taller than the iPhone 10 and in terms of width we're looking just a little bit thicker, uh, wider sorry, about half a centimetre and then thickness is a bit thicker but it does have that 4000 milliamp hour battery and it doesn't have quite the same camera bump uh, as the iPhone 10. If you want to check out this skin, this is a dbrand skin, I'll leave a link in the video description and you can see the branding as I said just Samsung with some difficult to read uh, legal information so nicely hidden there 
So a really nice colour, the blue. Uh, the S Pen is gold with this one, so it doesn't match like the black or the lavender. Um, you can see it's more of a yellow here, and then gold here, and you can see you can go ahead and scribble, leave a note on the lock screen. So I'm not entirely sure if I like that colour. Um, maybe a blue one would be nice, an option at least, because the yellow is a bit sort of cheaper looking I think than the gold. Um, in terms of colours, this is the blue, there is a black, um, a purple, and then there's a cobalt, but I'm not sure which regions that's available in. It's not available in the UK at the moment, or the US. Um, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description so you can look at all the colours if you want. But um, that's the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be leaving a lot of videos up in the near future. So go ahead, subscribe down below. If you found this video interesting or fun, do please give it a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video.